Good evening. The long-running legal battle over the McBride viaduct may be coming to its end. This comes after a federal judge dismisses the lawsuit that sought to delay the demolition of the bridge. It's new tonight at 11. T.R. Braddock spoke to Mayor Schember about what this decision could mean for the city of Erie moving forward. Tiara. Joe, Sean, the McBride Viaduct has been shut down since 2010, and with this recent court decision, this could mean the final end for the bridge. The future of the McBride Viaduct is in question after a federal judge dismisses the lawsuit aimed at halting the demolition of the bridge. Mayor Joe Schimber says this was a good decision by the court. We just thought it was the best thing to do for the city, especially the city taxpayers, to tear the bridge down because we just can't afford to keep it up. In a court document, Judge Paradise Baxter stated, in part, in reaching the ruling, the court notes that it is not unsympathetic to the concerns expressed by the plaintiffs, who are no doubt sincere in their opposition to removal of the McBride viaduct. This lawsuit was filed on April 30th by a group of people in the community, some of those people involved in the Erie CPR Connect and Respect Group. Mayor Schimber added that the decision to demolish the bridge was not intended to disrespect any of the residents in the area. We didn't want to presume anything, but we thought we had a very strong case, and we certainly knew that we were never trying to penalize any area of the city or any group of people in the city. Judge Paradise Baxter also acknowledged that with this dismissal of the lawsuit, the plaintiffs have the right to appeal the decision. And now we did reach out to members of Erie CPR, and they said they are expecting to give us a statement tomorrow. Jill. Okay, Tara, thank you.